Hello, I'm Penley the Penguin. Now, you know that penguins can swim underwater, but how long can they hold their breath? Well, it is not uncommon for a penguin to swim underwater for two to three minutes. But the longest time ever recorded was six minutes. Now, you got to remember, they're not only holding their breath, but they're swimming at the same time. We're going to learn how to determine the unknown number in a multiplication and division equations. Now when we have something like this, 7 times an unknown, A, equals 28, we know the number of groups, but we do not know how many are in each group. So we could say objects per group, for one group. So what we're doing is we're, if we know the total, we divide the total by the number of groups to find the op, how many objects are in one group. 28 divided by 7 equals 4. And we can check it by saying 7 times 4 is 28. Another way is to make guess and check. So we could say 7 times 1. 7, 7 times 2 is 14, we're getting higher but not yet, 7 times 3 is 21, 7 times 4 is 28. So 4 is the number of objects in a group. In example 2, we know the number per group. We don't know the total, but we know how many groups. Well, 4 is in one group, and we have 9 groups, we can multiply 4 times 9, which is 36. Or you can think 36 divided by 9 equals 4. In example 3, we know the total. We don't know how many groups there are, but we know how many are in each group. There's 5 in each group. So how are we going to get up to, how many groups to get up to 35? Well, once again, you can Guess and check, 5 times 1, 5 times 2, 5 times 3, until you get up to 35. 5 times 4 is what? 20. 5 times 5. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 7. So we know there's 7 groups. Another way is to just say 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Remember, when you're doing your mathematics, think. What would Penley the Penguin do?